Welcome back to my morning report analysis videos on Monday 9th of July with me, Richard Perry, market analyst at Hand Tech Markets. Looking at dollar yen, which is interesting because it looked as though early on Friday, as though the market was sort of moving higher and then regaining a little bit of bull momentum. Um, but there was an, a turnaround on the day on the payrolls report and the market sort of left a, a th another bear candle, which actually is the third bear candle in the last four sessions and uh, drifting a little bit today, a bit mixed. So you'd sort of got the momentum indicators which are marginally positively biased, being above 50 on the RSI, above neutral on the MACD and uh, again above the sort of 40 to 50 level on the stochastics. But you're not really getting that traction. And you could still argue that you're positively sort of configured within the range. You're above that rising 55-day moving average. You're sort of edging towards or you're sort of in the upper reaches of this range. 108 to one, uh, 108, 10 to 114.40. But again, I sort of, I'm a little bit cautious by to, of, of sort of backing this too much uh, in terms of moving to the upside because ultimately the candles have been a little bit n sort of negative in recent days. And the, and the momentum, which on the MACD lines, for example, is really uninspiring. So it doesn't really do a great deal for the bullish sort of control of this chart. And it just also says that if you break below 110.25 again, that would be a one-week low and starting to sort of lose traction again to the downside. And then you sort of... Sorry, that's sterling. Then you, start, um, then you sort of look at... 110 figure which has been there an old pivot it, it still probably is relevant to an extent because it's a big round number and it's um, a psychological level as well so if you start losing 110 figure and start having a 109 handle I think that again sort of starts to put real pressure on towards the downside again of this and then you could start to see 109.15 which is um, 109.15 which is the which is the June lows and then you could see that test again. So it, it's not really a, a great chart in terms of direction at the moment, and a um, few mixed signals and limited real direction on the on the momentum doesn't give you a great deal to go on. So difficult one to call on a very near-term basis. So I wish you good luck in trading, and I'll speak to you later.